Adding a new attribute to a product. Adding a product attribute is one of the most popular operations in Magento for both 1 and 2. Attributes are a powerful way to solve many practical tasks related to a product. This is quite a broad topic, but in this video we will discuss the simple process of adding a drop down type attribute to a product. For this exercise, assume that the sample data set is installed. We will add an attribute called clothing material with the possible values cotton, leather, silk, denim, fur, and wool. We will make this attribute visible on the product view page in bold text. We will assign it to the default attribute set and add a restriction that any bottom clothing like slacks cannot be the material fur. So we'll need to take the following steps to add the new attribute. One, create a new module. Two, add an install data script. Three, add a source model. Four, add a backend model. Five, add a front end model. And six, execute the install data script and verify that it works. Let's go through each step. One, create a new module. As Magento is modular based, we start the process by creating a new module called Learning Clothing Material. You'll create two files, etsy-module.xml and registration.php. We see module.xml here and registration.php here. Number two, create an install data script. Next, we need to create the install data script. Because adding an attribute technically adds records into several tables, such as EAV attribute and catalog EAV attribute, this is data manipulation, not a schema change. Therefore, we use install data instead of install schema. So I'll create the file app code learning clothing material setup install data. Let's take a minute to look at the code. First of all, we need to use a special setup object, not the one that comes in as a parameter. This is because catalog is an EAV entity. So to add an attribute, we have to use the EAV setup rather than the standard one. This holds true for any EAV entity in Magento 2, such as category, product, customer, and so on. This is why we added EAV setup factory in a constructor. For the install method, all we have to do is call the add attribute method with three parameters. Entity type, attribute code, and properties. Those properties define how an attribute behaves. A full list of properties can be seen in the catalog EAV attribute and EAV attribute tables. Note that there is a mapping between the fields in those tables and the properties in the add attribute method. To see all the mappings, you should look at Magento catalog model resource model setup property mapper class. For now, we'll just quickly go through the most important ones. Group means that we add the attribute to the attribute group general, which is present in all attribute sets. Type. Varchar means that the values will be stored in the catalog EAV varchar table. Label. A label of the attribute, that is, how it will be rendered in the back end and on the front end. Source, front end, and back end. These are special classes associated with the attribute. A source model provides a list of options. Front end defines how it should be rendered on the front end, and back end allows you to perform certain actions when an attribute is loaded or saved. In our example, it'll be validation. Global defines the scope of its values, global website or store. Visible on front is a flag that defines whether an attribute should be shown on the more information tab on the front end. Is HTML out on front defines whether an attribute value may contain HTML. Step three, Add a source model. Next, we need to create the source model under app code learning clothing material model attribute source material. As the name implies, the get all options method provides a list of all available options. Step four, add a backend model. Now we'll create a backend model. We'll put it in app code learning clothing material model attribute backend material.php. In our example, we implement only the validate method. The backend model may have before save, after save, and after load methods that allow the execution of some code at the moment an attribute is saved or loaded. 
The backend model is what makes attribute management a really powerful method of customization. Note that we hard coded the attribute set ID here for the sake of time. In other cases, it could be different. Make sure to check the AAV attribute set table for the right ID. Step five, add a front end model. And finally, we create a front end model to make our value bold. As with the back end model, this is also a very simple class. Now we can run our code and check the results. After you run this, the new attribute should have been added to the database. We see clothing material down here, the primary key of 155. and its corresponding entry in catalog EAV attribute with the primary key being 155. Now let's go to the back end, open any configurable product, and we should see that clothing material drop down. We'll set our filters to be a configurable product with the attribute set bottom. We'll select the first item. First, we'll set the clothing material to fur and attempt to save our attribute. We see that our backend model was executed successfully. So now we'll set it to wool and save it. Having saved the product, we'll now move to the front end. It should be visible and in bold text. 